And now, ladies and gentlemen, Norman Henderson's Freak Show regrets to present to you the biggest mistake ever made. If stupid or ugly people affect your health in any way, I suggest you leave at once. I present to you, The Fool. Isn't she an embarrassment? <laughs> Isn't she a disappointment? Norman, I didn't even begin. The fool is a non-speaking role. Leave the stage. Sorry. Please wait as we present to you our next freak, the human camel. Miss Marshmallow, where are you? Down here. I fell. How was the show? Um, it was okay, I guess. Well, actually, Nori cut my track before I even got the scene, but besides that, it was okay. What? He didn't even let you perform? That's terrible. Well, actually, I, get, I did get to dance a little bit, so technically I did get to perform. Why did you apologize oh. to him? He should have apologized to you. Well... I don't know if you know this, Mr. Marshmallow, but that man is like a lion, okay? He's at the top of the food chain, and you don't tell him what to do. Ever. And where are you, then? At the very bottom? Yep. I'm the grass that everybody poops on. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I should have known that Norman was going to say he was going to cut it short. I mean, he usually doesn't like me picking my own uh, axe. In fact, uh, when, I suggest, when I asked him what I should do, he told me... The audience would be delighted if you dropped dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not actually going to let yourself die in front of the audience, are you? No one's going to be entertained by that. Well, if Norman likes it, everyone else will. Why do you even listen to him? Well, he's giving me a place to stay, and he uh, is letting me uh, perform. I mean, he's giving me a life, Mr. Marshmallow. He's using you so he can make a living. He's laughing at you, and so is everyone else. Well, if they're laughing, then they're happy. And if they're happy, then I'm happy. Oh, please. I know you're not happy. Yes, Just tell Norman that you're sick of being portrayed this way. Why? I'm a fool. I'm not supposed to tell people how I feel. Says who? Norman. In fact, um, just recently, he told me to make a list of what I'm supposed to do and what not to do. <coughs> Let me show you. I worked really, really hard on it. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Uh, I did not add that last one. Ha ha, you can't get a date. Kissy mark. Oh, you know what? Sabrina mm. must have added that. Uh, she's uh, Norman's hot and sexy girlfriend. I don't know if you've seen her before. But anyway, Mr. Marshmallow, here they are. The rules of the fool. Number one, if you're a fool, then you can't be smart or clever. Number two, you can't be attractive in any way because, well, that's just plain wrong. And number three, you can't voice your own opinion. And in fact, you can't even curse because you can only be stupidly innocent. Like, uh, Sabrina's allowed to call me a fire truck and female dog or I see you next Thursday, but I can't say that kind of stuff to her. <laughs> well, I don't agree with this list of rules. Why not? You shouldn't be told what to do with your life. Well, Mr. Marshmallow, if I don't follow the rules, I'm just going to be confused, okay? That's how my brain works. I thought you knew that. Well, what about that, what about that rule right there that Sabrina added? Yeah, I know that you can do that. Or I assume that you can, I don't know, but I know you should be able to do it. Well, actually, no, because number four says you can't find love. At all. Why did you write these rules again? Well, Norma told me to, and that put me a free time. Well, actually, I kind of refused to do it the first time, but then afterwards, I... Wait! What do you mean, the first time? Well, about a week ago, um, Norman came to visit me, and he told me to make a list so I could be reminded of the loser that I truly am. Well, I said no because I didn't think of myself as a loser. I mean, I'm a performer. I make people laugh and smile and all. I mean... So I'm a success. I don't think that qualifies me as a loser. 
Well, Norman didn't seem to agree, so he just told me. Why must I do everything for you? You are such a loser. And then the next day, uh, he and uh, Sabrina came to visit mm -hmm. me. And I thought that was actually kind of odd, because they told me they would be caught dead in here. But anyway, uh, they invited me to Norman's place that night for a little fancy dinner with their friends. It was actually a really nice place. I think he would like it. Um, I was nice to everybody. I was on my best behavior. And then somebody offered me a drink. And of course, I took it. But then I felt, I just felt really, really drowsy. And the next thing I knew, I just passed out. And when I woke up, Mr. Marshmallow, my wrists and my ankles were tied together, and Norman was sitting on top of me holding some sort of tattoo gun. He was like piercing my belly with it, and I was just, I don't know, I was screaming and crying. I was like, please, get him off me. Someone help me. And, um, and Sabrina and everyone else, they were just laughing at me. But I remember there was one person who asked, Norman, don't you think we're going a bit too far with this? But Norman just pointed that gun at him, and he said, Whose side are you on, mine or that thing's? Oh my god, why didn't you tell me about this? I just didn't want you to freak out, okay? You're always freaking out. No, this has gone too far. You need to leave this place, okay? Just forget the rules, forget what Norman said. You are worth so much more than this. Mr. Marshmallow, I appreciate your concern for me, but right now, I have to go practice for my next show, okay? No, you are not going anywhere. You have got to stop listening to his bullshit. Mr. Marshmallow, you're not allowed to curse. Look, it's rule number three, okay? <laughs> you cannot curse. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, the list says that the fool isn't allowed to curse. I am a bunny. The rules don't apply to me. Darn it. <laughs> I am just so sick of you listening to Norman. He doesn't care about you, and you're practically letting him kill you. I'm not. Stop being such an idiot and snap out of it. No, you know what? You need to shut up, okay? Hey, what are you doing? No, no, no. Don't you dare. Ah! Okay, what's, what am I going to do for my next performance? Let's see. Um, uh, oh, I got it. Explosives. I'll tie explosives to myself, and I'll let myself blow up, and my body parts will go flying all over the place. People like explosives, so it will be awesome. Then again, do I want my death to be so gory that everybody starts vomiting? That wouldn't be very nice. Okay, no blood, no guts, no vomit. Let's just keep this clean, okay? Let's see. He did say to drop dead. I have to jump. Let's see, well, where should I jump from? Oh, we have that very tall diving board made for... Richard the Bungee Jumper. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there is a clear pool that is filled with spikes instead of water, and there are ten balls sitting on top of those spikes. Richard will climb that ladder, attach himself to the cord, and dive down to retrieve the balls. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? The man was born with no eyeballs. He hasn't failed this stunt yet. Of course, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see. I'm in a, I'm in a revealing outfit that shows off my tattoo. Okay, that's provocative enough. Okay, um, okay, let's see. This is the ladder. I climb it. Okay, the cord will be right there. But instead of tied around my ankles, oh, I tied around my neck. Then, one, two, three. This will be my greatest performance ever. But why should I let everyone else see this? I mean, what have they done to deserve such a good performance? Should I even kill myself in front of them? Should I just kill myself in here? Or why don't I go so far away where nobody can find my corpse? Um, do I have anything in here? Anything at all? Anything dangerous? Anything pointy? I guess you'll have to do.
Maybe I should at least, I don't know, write a note before I go. Isn't that what people normally do? Let's see. To whom it may concern. How original. Um, dear Norman, I'm sorry I've been such a bother, but at least you've earned money from it. I can do better than that. Okay, um, totally meant to do that. <laughs> Dear cruel world, you probably didn't even know that I existed, so you won't even miss me. Come on. I mean, how hard can it be to write a suicide note? Okay, what is wrong with me? Why can't I just do something so simple? I mean, I cannot remember the last time I've done something right without being told to. I'm always freaking out about things. I'm always overthinking it. I mean, is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to overthink things? Am I supposed to just, just hide all the time? Of course, I don't have to. My rules. Rule number one, you can be smart and clever to your heart's content. Um, number two, you can be beautiful if you want. Uh, number three, don't be afraid to tell people how you feel. And if you really feel the need to, if you really feel the need to, feel free to curse. But please don't curse in a church. <laughs> uh, four. Okay, I have four rules. Uh, of course, if you believe in true love, go for it. I have four. That last one doesn't count. One more. Be whoever you wish to be. You are not the puppet. You are the master. Come on, just do it. So much better. Don't you think so, Mr. Marshmallow? Mr. Marshmallow? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there you are. I'm so glad I found you. Why? So you can throw me away again? No, no, no. Look, I'm really sorry that I just did that. Um, I want to apologize for never fully appreciating your concern for me, okay? For never taking your advice. Norman's words don't mean anything to me anymore. Uh, you know what? I even got rid of the old list, and I made myself a new one. Check it out. Wow. You actually did something right without being told to. Yes. What happened? Well, I decided that I'm not going to be a, dis a uh, pitiful disappointment anymore. You mean you're not going to perform anymore? But you're so good at it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to perform. But this isn't the place for me. We're gonna bust out right now, okay? Thank you. 
I fell. Chris Marshmallow, you need life alert. <laughs> <laughs> I am not that old, and I am not that desperate. Debatable. <laughs> How was the show, by the way? Well, it was fantastic. Um, it was a huge success. Well, good for you. Hey, uh, can you do something for me, please? Sure. What is it? There are some papers on the floor where I fell down. Will you please get them for me? Okay. Okay, let's see. We've got my rules and the rules of the full. Mr. Marshmallow, why were these down there? Well, I like to know why the rules of the fool isn't torn up like you said they were two years ago. Why are you so nosy? Why are you such a liar? I'm not a liar. Please don't tell me you still have that tattoo. I don't have a tattoo. Show me. You didn't actually think you were going to get away with lying to me, did you? Did you really think I would have noticed the list in the bag when we ran away two years ago? Well, if you knew, then why are you bringing this up now? Well, I was going to wait for you to confess, but I finally realized that that was never going to happen. Who else knows about this? What, did I lie to you? Now is not the time to be a smart Ellie. Who else knows about your life two years ago? If anyone else knew about this, I wouldn't have any friends. And what makes you say that? Don't you remember what happened two years ago? No, you actually don't because you were in the bag most of the time, okay? While you were just sitting in the bag doing who knows what, I was the one trying to get us out of here, okay? I had to go through the scorching heat, a bunch of storm wet weather, really cold winters, and you got to be all snuggled up inside the bag. And I did not tell you this before, but um, before we found that homeless shelter two years ago, I did find three other places, but they each had a sign on the door that said things like, no retards allowed in, there's nothing special about you. And I just don't want to go through that again, so nobody knows my little secret. So, you're just going to listen to a bunch of shitty lawn decoration? No, Mr. Marshall, you really don't understand this, okay? No, you don't understand. You're just going to remain in the shadows because only, what, three people didn't let you in? What about that lady at the homeless shelter? She didn't throw you out after she discovered your little secret. So chances are that one person will turn to a population that will accept and love you. You already have a population that loves you, and I highly doubt that they will throw you away if you tell them your little secret. No. Oh, and if they do, then they're not your true friends. Just tell your friends, remove that tattoo, and get rid of that list. Okay, I will. First thing in the morning. It is one o'clock in the morning, and you will do it now. Mr. Marshmallow, you cannot hey, I'm sorry, but remind me. What does the fifth rule say? And not on Norman's list of rules, but on your list of rules? Rule number five. Be whoever you wish to be. You are not the puppet. You are the master. You might be miles away from Norman, but honey, I am telling you, as long as you have that tattoo and list, you will always be his precious little puppet. I am nobody's puppet, okay? All right, then. Prove it. How? I think you know the answer to that, Catherine. know what you're doing. <laughs>